Hi everyone, in this very special Halloween video, we'll be talking about the most haunted place in San Diego, Proctor Valley Road, and how to vlog in these haunted locations. I'll be talking about all the gear that you'll need when it comes to vlogging at haunted locations. Happy Halloween! Now let's talk about Proctor Valley and how to vlog on a haunted road. Proctor Valley is a supposedly haunted road in San Diego, California with a lot of ghost stories. One of the most popular stories is the lady in the blue dress who can be found walking on the side of the road hitchhiking. But we're going to Proctor Valley. There's this hitch, the hitchhiker ghost. I don't know. I don't think we're going to see anything, but whatever. Of all the times we drove there, we never saw her. Apparently you're not supposed to stop your car or have your windows down or get out of your car. Ghost lady. Come and get us! Because apparently if you do any of those things, someone might come home with you. Like, a ghost. Apparently. Yeah, we went there a bunch of times at night. A few times for fun, and maybe two or three times to film? And each time we did that, we had the windows open, we walked around, uh, we filmed outside, and the only thing that came home with us was the lesson of, you can't film at night without light. And with that said, we're going to be talking about the gear that you need when you want to film or vlog at a haunted road. <laughs> and the first one is light. The thing about haunted places is you'll probably film at night or film in a dark area. So what you'll need is light. Light is important for vlogging and can make your film go from this to this. I suggest bringing a portable LED or even a lightsaber. I'm joking about the lightsaber. You can't really adjust the brightness with a lightsaber compared to a portable LED. And most importantly, you wanna keep your ISO down. The higher the ISO, the more artificial light that's gonna be in your image and thus making your image more grainy. If you're gonna be talking or recording any ghostly sounds, you'll need an external microphone is because the built-in microphones in cameras pick up a lot of unwanted noise. So you'll want to replace that with something that could do a better job. And honestly, audio is very important. If you have bad audio, people are going to click out of your video right away. So you'll need really good audio if you're vlogging in a haunted area or a haunted road. And the next thing you need is a camera. Obviously, because how else are you going to vlog on a haunted road without a camera? You can use whatever camera you got on hand, whether it's a cell phone, DSLR, mirrorless, or even a GoPro. And the reason why I could talk about ghost hunting and whatnot is because back in the day, before I started making videos and before going on YouTube, I used to be in a ghost hunting group. And in that ghost hunting group, we went to a lot of investigations, we went to a lot of haunted places, and we did a lot of client work. Fun fact, that ghost hunting group is led by my friend Alex Mitsuo, who has her own channel. She talks a lot about the paranormal, so if you're into that kind of stuff, I'll leave a link in the description to her channel. And now let's get back to talking about the gear that you need for vlogging on a haunted road. Basically vlogging at night. Basically nighttime vlogging. If zombies, ghosts, or Karens are chasing you out of your haunted location, you'll probably get shaky footage from all the running. What you'll need is something to stabilize your image. A gimbal is a great tool to stabilize your image. It might not be up to par of running and jumping, but if you handle it with care, you'll get smooth footage. And don't worry, I'll leave links to all the gear that I've been talking about in the description below. Full disclaimer, if you're ghost hunting and filming at a private location, please um get permission from whoever owns the property or whoever's handling the property because I don't want you guys to get in trouble for trespassing. With that said, that's all you need when it comes to filming at a haunted location. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of gear reviews for new vloggers and it's a great place if you're just starting out. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.